Hey guys, Patrick here. So I have assembled, modified and printed numerous things with the N3V2 to be used around the house. Now what? <laughs> so there are actually some upgrades that you can do right out of the box without actually buying any hardware or even buying any upgrade parts from Amazon or anything like that. And all these upgrade parts can be done just by using the end of free to print out parts itself. So let's get to it. Okay, one of the first upgrades that I did was the side spool holder. So as you can see here, it holds the filament. And I wanted it to be, I wanted my printer to be placed into my room. And since it wasn't so much space vertically for the desk that I'm putting it on, um, I decided a side spool mount would be great. And it actually uses the hardware that already exists that puts uh, the mounts on the top. But now it just transfers it to the side here. Next up, we got a filament guide. So that's just located here. The only thing this does is it gives you more peace of mind that the filament is not going to be touching the Z-axis anytime. And it won't grind up against it. And the idea is for this part to wear out um, and it can be easily replaced uh, just by printing it out again and it's a super easy print and I definitely recommend you to do it The next couple of mods are just to kind of debrand the printer a little bit So we got the extruder the original one rattled the blue one actually even though it was made of metal at the bottom there It wasn't actually ideal. So it would actually make these rattling noises when it was um, printing um, Which is actually a little bit annoying. So printing a PLA one actually improved the acoustic performance of the printer so it's not as loud as it was before when the extruder was um moving the filament around and also it look i i just wanted to get rid of all the blue on this printer so i've also um got on these belt tensioner knobs these are fully printed out without any problems and they work great and also as you can see here there's a qr code this is a uh, a custom design um i just used an stl an image to stl maker to create this, uh, you can download it in the link below or even scan it if you want. The next thing is a scraper holder. So this tool here is used quite often and just having it next to the printer is a lot easier, giving you good access to it. I did kind of mess up with the print on this one. Um, the orientation should be um, vertical like this um, and not the other way around. So it ended up having a little trouble, but I managed to salvage the part and still use it since um, I don't have it. I don't need the part to be 100% as long as it's functional, then it's okay. Then we got this LCD cover over here. So this is actually a little bit useless and a minor inconvenience to use every time you print, but a good thing about it is it prevents dust from getting on the LCD screen as well as it protects the printer. So if you were to drop um, some screws or, or even hit the screen, then this will be protected and you won't have to replace this expensive screen. We also got this Prusa style knob here and it's nice to use and I think it looks it, it looks pretty good with the printer so definitely recommend this little part and it fits in super easy and it's quick to print. Next up we have the PSU shroud. So I made a whole video on this shroud and explaining why you actually need it. It's, it's under the printer here right now and yeah it's working great. Definitely recommend it if you have an Ender Free V2. This is definitely one of the first upgrades I'll do just to improve the longevity of the PSU and allow it to breathe a little bit better. And one of the largest, uh, more time consuming prints that I had to do was this. This is a cable chain. So, as you can see, it runs along here to the back and even for the glass bed. So, all the axes are covered. From a practicality standpoint, it's not the most practical thing in the world. Even without the cable chain, the printer will print okay. It's just a little bit more messy. So it definitely does organize the cables a little bit better, but is it worth all this filament and time to print out? I don't know, but aesthetically, I like the look of it, and I do like how it's organized. So if you have some time to print uh, the cable chain out, then definitely print it out, and it does seem to work pretty well. Next up, we got some dust covers. So these dust covers are just pretty straightforward. So these dust covers prevent dust from getting in and also prevents um, plastic from entering these extrusions. So it's easier to clean and you don't have um, these little pieces of plastic stuck in your, your metal extrusions. One of the last upgrades I'll talk about that is extremely easy to print out as well is a spacer for the extrusion, uh, sorry, for the Z-axis um, motor. Honestly, I'm not really sure if this actually helps or not. There are some different prints that 
can increase the spacing distance but i just saw that this was a really simple and easy print it took like a couple minutes pretty much does it really relieve the tension from the rod maybe maybe not if it does then that's great because it only took a couple minutes to print out and it's pretty simple to install as well uh one more thing that i forgot to mention was um oops the z-axis um knob i guess that you can adjust here this basically just turns the rod and it definitely improves the usability of the printer no brainer definitely print it out and it uses uses barely any filament so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video it did take some time to find all the upgrade parts that i wanted to print out and show to you guys definitely subscribe and like this video if i helped you out and if i gave you some ideas then feel free to just go to the description down below and print them out with your uh printer so if you guys find some better parts um, for the Ender 3 V2, then feel free to put it in the comments down below. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Patrick Sachs.